Hey Deviants of the Dev Nation, it's Devi, and welcome back to my channel. Now, let's talk cartoons. If you're new here, hi, my name is Devi. This is my channel, Let's Talk Cartoons, where we do just that. Talk cartoons. And if by the end of this video you like what I do here, talking about cartoons and stuff, please be sure to subscribe and join our family, the Deviants of the Dev Nation. And don't forget to drop a like and comment down below. Now, a lot of you might be thinking I'm crazy just by seeing the video title. What? Pearl did not belong to Pink Diamond. We saw with our own eyes. What are you doing? Are you trying to deceive us? But if by the end of this video you are not convinced, tell me why down in the comment section below. But I'm going to try my best to convince you because now I officially believe that Pearl did not belong to Pink Diamond slash Rose Quartz. And here is why. The first four reasons. They're going to go off comparing our Pearl to the other two Diamond Pearls that we know, which would be blue and yellow. So starting off with number one. The colors don't look alike. If anything, Pearl is more white than pink. It's crazy because sometimes she changes color like a real Pearl usually does. But overall, she looks more white. And even in more modern Steven Universe episodes, you start to see this more. Usually in episodes like The Answer, you would see her look some kind of pinkish or weirdish. But for some reason, she's just like straight white Pearl right now. And I... Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> you know what I mean? Blue and yellow pearls still look like blue and yellow pearl. So that's number one. Number two would be her clothes. All the other diamonds, all the other pearls have colors of their clothes to match their diamonds. And Pearl doesn't have that. Her clothes is like multicolored back then. But anyways, not only that, but the design of her clothes was way different. Here you have blue pearl rocking it. Yes, girl, you look good. Here we have yellow pearl rocking it. Ooh, honey, yes. <laughs> but look at our pearl. Eh, girl, where is yours? You're not a part of it? Mm, I didn't think so. The fact that she never actually said, My diamond. Which is something that all the pearls say when they have a diamond. For example, Blue Pearl said it right here. And also, Yellow Pearl is notorious for this. Why is it that we never heard Pearl say, My diamond. Or, My rose quartz. And she's never slipped up even once? You know what I mean? Not even one time in her entire life. There was this time when she was screaming like, Why don't you let me do this for you, Rose? In that heat of the moment, if she really was so stressed and so confused, I think most likely she would have been like, Why don't you let me do this for you, my diamond? You know, in the heat of the moment, something would have slipped up. She never slipped up once. You're not that good at keeping secrets, para. And I know some of you guys might be saying, Well, one time, Rose did say, My pearl, in that hologram thingy 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 and I agree with you she did say my pearl but we're gonna get back to that now here's a little bonus packet for those of you non-believers this is one that I really don't believe in that much but eh, whatever I'll put it in anyways her gem placement now most of the diamond pearls have their gem placement matching where their diamonds gem placement is but if you've been with my channel for a while you know that I don't believe this part of the theory I don't know I just really have a strong feeling that pink pearl is hiding in Rodenite's fusion I made a whole video on this so if you want to watch that you can go ahead and watch it I'll link it in the description or up in the cards but yeah I don't know I just don't believe this one the whole gem placement thing but whatever I guess it can be a little bonus, blah, 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 blah. but the one to end all, number five is the fact that, before I even say it, do you remember when I was telling you guys that yes, Rose Quartz did say my pearl? Well, we're going back to that for number five. It's the mother of all the gems herself, Miss Queen Rebecca Sugar. Give it up, guys. Yes. Mm -hmm. Rebecca, love you, girl. Yes, she did confirm that superiors would not call their pearls my pearl. 
it's like a submission thing I guess <laughs> only the ones under them which would be the pearls would say things like my diamond you know to their superiors my diamond my morganite my whatever you know what I mean but the one above them wouldn't say it and I know you can be like um Rose is different so she didn't really do things like allow Pearl to call her my diamond but then it was said by Rebecca Sugar listen to what she had to say the fact that Rose says my Pearl to Pearl I know that made a lot of people wonder oh does she belong to Rose no one calls their pearl, my pearl. Mm -hmm. People only say that to their superiors. Yes, my diamond. Okay, so yeah, that's it for me. That's where I concluded it. And I'm like, <laughs> well, if Rebecca's gonna say that, basically, it means that even though she may not be Pink Diamond's pearl, she might have been somebody higher up or something like that. You know what I mean? Because they must have been close to each other for them to have such a good relationship. Pearl did say something about her status, so I know she was high up. And we did hear Pearl.com say that she was a fancy Pearl. So while I don't think she was Pink Diamond's Pearl at all, I think she belonged to someone who was very high up, but maybe just not a diamond. So, uh, yeah, tell me your thoughts on this theory, and it's not really a theory, I guess, because Miss Rebecca Sugar done confirmed it herself, so tell me, who do you think Pearl belonged to then, and do you believe me when I say Pink Pearl is probably in Rodent Knight's fusion, because honestly, at this point, I mean, why not? You weren't there to protect your diamond, so might as well just go ahead and hide. I explained this all in another video, and again, I'll link it up in the cards, where you can go ahead and take a look, okay? Thank you so much, my viewers, my subscribers, those who have yet to know me, those who just found me. My deviance of the divination. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for choosing to subscribe and to listen to my voice and to watch my videos. I appreciate it more than you could ever know. Thank you very much. Please be sure to drop a like down below and join in on the comment section so we can continue this conversation. Okay? Remember to change the world for the better and don't let it change you for the worse. Keep your head up and stay positive. Go around and watch my other videos because this is the end of this video. Bye bye Thank you for watching my video today. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Zeppy. Nice to meet you. I upload videos all the time on this channel. So if you don't want to miss my next video, be sure to subscribe. And speaking of videos, did you watch my last video? If not, don't worry, I got you fam, it's right here. Just go ahead and click on it, watch the video, like and subscribe, why not? See you guys in my next video, bye bye.